hi guys and welcome to my channel today i want to show you how to make napoleon cake trifle trifle desserts are very popular during the holiday season i guess because they're very well decorated and they look good on the holiday table but also because of its convenience uh, it is pretty much a deconstructed cake that is layered with cream that you could simply scoop out and enjoy on my channel i have another recipe for napoleon cake which is a log cake so check it out for my trifle today i'm going to be using patisserie cream which is a very traditional uh, french cream that is used in most french desserts like napoleons and eclairs which will require vanilla custard as a component and here are the ingredients for it also will be listed in the description box below let's get started in a medium sized saucepan, we're gonna combine seven egg yolks. And yes, there are seven in there, I just broke a couple. We're also gonna add one cup of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, three tablespoons of plain all purpose flour, and 500 milliliters of full fat milk. Then take a whisk and whisk all these ingredients together. We need to mix rapidly to prevent clumping of the flour. Move your pan to the cooktop and start cooking your cream on low heat, constantly stirring until it thickens up, which will take approximately 10 minutes. Take it off the heat and transfer your vanilla custard into a medium sized bowl. Take a plastic wrap and we need to cover our vanilla custard into contact to prevent a crust forming and then we're going to refrigerate it um, until it's completely cooled down. And after that it's going to look like that. In a traditional trifle is a, a pound cake used, but since we're making a Napoleon trifle, we need some puff pastry and i have two different brands of the pastry that i like to use i'm gonna use the bigger package because i am um, gonna make that has two sheets in it i'm gonna make a trifle out of one sheet and then i have some chicken in the fridge and i boiled some eggs which i'm gonna make piroshkis out of the other sheet and of course, before working with the puff pastry, you leave it. Uh, you need to leave it on the countertop for about an hour to defrost, and then you can simply un unroll it and cut it. Um, I'm gonna cut my pastry into one-inch squares because that's gonna be our pieces for the trifle. And I'm not using the ruler. I am just eyeballing it. It's because nobody's gonna dig into a trifle and see if your squares are even. As long as you have a pretty even squares, just put them on a lined baking sheet. And here we have all our squares. And then we're gonna bake them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 13 minutes until they're golden brown and they're looking like this. While our puff pastry squares are cooling down, we're gonna finish our patisserie cream. And we need butter. I have 225 grams of softened butter. And I like to use this kind, which is very yellow. It's an Irish butter because we need to cream this butter until it lightens in color. And that would be the only way to tell. If you get the yellow butter, that becomes white. If you take the white butter, it's going to be difficult for you to decide whether it's white or not. You need to cream your butter for about five to eight minutes. And after that, we are gradually gonna start adding our vanilla custard. Add spoon by spoon, slowly introduce your custard to the butter because butter is oil and custard is water. Water and oil don't mix. That's why you need to do it gradually. So your cream is silky and is not separated. And it's gonna look like this which is beautiful 
now what I like to do, I like to transfer my patisserie cream in a, a piping bag. I have a very large one. I think it's 18 inch piping bag. And then um, we're going to be using a closed star tip for assembling our trifle and of course for trifle you need a trifle glass container which is like that and i know they they sell the specific ones i just got the one from the flower arrangement i had and then we're gonna start building the layers of the trifle so the cream goes on the bottom of the trifle i am building four layers so i divided my puff pastry squares into four portions then your squares are gonna go on top of the cream then you can put some fresh berries i chose to use raspberries because they just look good uh, then we're gonna build layer number two which is the patisserie cream goes on top of our puff pastry squares then another layer of puff pastry squares are gonna go on top of our patisserie cream and then follow up with our fresh raspberries or you could use strawberries you could use blueberries any berries that you like will do and then we're going to continue on with layer number three the same process and just continue building your layers and of course the higher your dish is the more layers you're going to have and the more fun you're going to have building your trifle and then um we're finishing up with layer number four which is the same order we're gonna put all our ingredients and make sure you're gonna leave some raspberries for decoration and also some of the patisserie cream that is gonna cover our fourth layer and then we're gonna decorate it further our top layer i've decided to decorate with some whipped cream so i have 400 milliliters of heavy whipping cream to which i'm gonna add two tablespoons of powdered sugar and then we need to whisk it until the stiff peaks like that i'm gonna transfer my whipped cream uh, into the piping bag and i'm gonna use that at attachment that i showed you I'm not sure what it's called i think it's called the fluted russian piping tip um, but i like the effect it gives you this beautiful roses with the center in the middle where you can actually put your um, raspberries um, like that so i like using it and especially it gives you this uh, very impressive look on your desserts so we're just gonna decorate it with our raspberries I am missing the one for the middle, but I'll, I, I'll come with a solution. Then I'm going to sprinkle it with the edible galaxy dust, which I think is going to make this dessert absolutely beautiful. And here, I feel like I needed something green in this dessert. So I ran to my backyard and I found this piece of basil. What do you think? I think it looks good. Leave your trifle for about an hour on the countertop and then move it to the fridge and then keep it there overnight. And next day we are ready to try it. So you just scoop out as much as you want and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.